Hello students, this is Dr. Sansom. I wanted to make a quick video for you reviewing this problem that we weren't able to finish in class and it is calculating the pH of a solution containing a dibasic base. And the base that we're working with today is called quinine and it has two basic groups. The first Kb is 3.31 times 10 to the minus 6 and the second KB is 1.35 times 10 to the minus ninth. And we want to know what is the pH of a 0.15 molar quinine solution. So in this case, the first thing I'm looking at here is the magnitude of our KB1 and KB2. And I see that they are three orders of magnitude different from each other, which means I'm gonna be okay using just the KB1 to do this calculation. So I'm going to write out my equation for our uh, KB1. So I'll just call the base Q. And we're gonna make QH plus and OH minus. We're starting out with 0.15 molar quinine. We lose a little bit and we gain some of the conjugate acid and some hydroxide. And at equilibrium, we would have these concentrations. So then we just write our KB expression, which is going to be our QH plus times our OH minus divided by our Q at equilibrium, which is X squared over 0.15 minus X. And this equals 3.31 times 10 to the minus six. Because my KB is really small, I know that my X will be small as well, so I can neglect my X here on the bottom, and I'll just say this is approximately equal to x squared over 0.15. When I solve for x, I get 7 times 10 to the minus 4, and that equals my concentration of OH minus. So I can take the negative log and that gives me 3.15 and that's my pOH and my pH will just be 14 minus that which is 10.85. So this is a pretty straightforward calculation whenever you don't have to consider the second dissociation or association in this case. You just do a, a simple rice table. You only need to do one because the order of magnitude of KB1 and KB2 is at least three orders of magnitude different. We were able to neglect X here, which made our calculation easy. And then we take the negative log to get our POH and the pH. So that's it for our calculation to find the pH of a solution containing a dibasic base.